Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion for Thursday, December 10th. Once again, our reading is taken from the book, Jesus Calling by Sari Young. And we invite you to listen as though Jesus is speaking directly to you. We'll begin with our scripture from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And from the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 10. Even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. And from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. And now our reading from Jesus Calling. Make me the focal point of your search for security. In your private thoughts, you are still trying to order your world so that it is predictable and feels safe. Not only is this an impossible goal, but it is also counterproductive to spiritual growth. When your private world feels unsteady and you grip my hand for support, you are living in conscious dependence on me. Instead of yearning for a problem-free life, rejoice that trouble can highlight your awareness of my presence. In the darkness of adversity, you are able to see more clearly the radiance of my face. Accept the value of problems in this life, considering them pure joy. Remember that you have an eternity of trouble-free living awaiting you in heaven. Make me the focal point. Make Jesus the focal point. How fitting that is in this season of Advent, preparing for and celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, preparing room for him in our hearts, in our homes, and in our lives. I'm sure everyone, like myself, is busy preparing for their celebrations, food shopping, planning menus, baking cookies, buying and wrapping gifts, and writing Christmas cards. It's all joyous and stressful at the same time. But in the middle of all that, Jesus reminds us to focus on him, the reason for our celebration. Regardless of what our lives hold, times of joy, times of sorrow, times of trials, we must remember that we have an eternal paradise waiting for us in heaven, a gift that began with the birth of a child called Jesus. Please join me in a prayer. Gracious Father, thank you for the precious gift of your son, Jesus. Help us to accept and be thankful for trials that raise our awareness of your presence. Thank you for upholding us by your righteous right hand. Help us prepare our hearts, minds, and spirit to receive your Son and your promise of heaven. Glory to God in the highest. In Jesus' name we pray. Stay safe, stay well. Stay focused.